Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. We have just snuck in to the ventilation shaft of the nuclear weapon storage facility. And we are going to crawl through these air ducts. Massive air ducts, I might add. Oh, we have a call. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Okay, if we wanted to call up Master Miller, that guy's name is, you don't have to actually enter in the frequency. You can just choose his name. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the terrorists that we're dealing with. They're called a special unit Foxhound, which is like a fictional anti... Okay. <laughs> this is the room we're going to be breaking into. It's a fictional anti-terrorism like squad of superhero kind of people. And they're like the best soldiers in the freaking world. But, uh... I ran into a problem. While Solid Snake used to be one of the Foxhound members, they have all gone freaking crazy after he retired. And they've gone here and they're doing terrorist moved stuff. moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Okay, we can't get through here yet. But back to Fox Sound. They're the best soldiers in the world. They're American, basically. They're anti-terrorist groups. But they have gone freaking insane. And they've taken over this facility. They're being led by a man whose code name is Liquid Snake. Which goes along with uh, Solid Snake, the character we're playing as. In fact, they actually look alike. Which is kind of weird. So, we're gonna have to find out what the whole deal about that is. There's also a few other ones, and we're gonna run into them as we play the game. Can't get through any of these. We just look through them. Oh, look at that. There's a ration on the other end of that. Fortunately, our ration stock is full. Or rather, fortunately, I should say. So, we're not gonna be getting that. Press the action button to drop down. It's like they know they're in a video game. It's crazy. Press the action button to drop down. Okay, we are in an area called the Tank Hangar. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Half grenades. We're gonna have to avoid a couple of cameras up here. Also, notice these doors have numbers on them. Any door with a number on it is locked. You can't open that yet. This is called the tank hanger, obviously, because it's a tank hanger. Remember, watch the cameras on the radar. Or you can watch them in first person view. You gotta wait till they're you're clear. And hug the wall! Hug the wall! Hug the wall! and we're clear. Now, what do we have in here? Is there anything back there we're gonna want? Let's check it out. Thermal goggles. Oh yeah, night vision, basically. Let's crack, crack that on for a few seconds, see what it looks like. Oh, look at that, everything's gone red. I can see people. Now, not that big of a deal right now because, well, you can see him anyway. 
but there will be places where it's too dark to see normally. Watch out for the soldiers. Something you have to watch for with the soldiers... Well, it, it's kind of important to the storyline, but it's not something you really have to worry too much about. Is because they're supposedly genetically advanced, enhanced. They're called genome soldiers. They had their bodies basically... Like, injected with... Better genes, you know, to make them better soldiers. So there's, oh crap, he's gonna see me. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Ah! Oh, damn. That was close. Oh, shit. He's coming this way. I may have to kill him. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go... Oh, oh, good. Alright. <laughs> At best, I want to try not to be seen too many times. Take the elevator down. You're going to be riding a lot of elevators in this game. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, we found the DARPA chief. That was quick, wasn't it? You can actually see him if you lean against the wall. And there he is. His name is Donald Anderson. He's like the head honcho. Unfortunately, we can't get through this door because see the one there? It's locked. We can't get through that door. So there's also a door back here we're going to see later. Locked with an eight. That's a whole lot more locked than one. Let's run over here. And, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Yes, I hear you. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. I figured as much. Okay, we're in more air ducts again. Now, before we go find the DARPA chief, because he's this way, I'm going to go this way for a little bit. Why? Because there's somebody, a guard here. Ugh, oh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Uh, just to let you know, just for fun, it's not really important to this game, but that guy's name is Johnny. More SOCOM bullets, didn't really need them, but I got him. Let's go find the DARPA chief. That's the woman he was talking about. Not him. You sure? I mean, that could be him. That could be a very feminine looking man or a very manly looking woman. I'm not going to bother answering that call. And now we're going to have a long conversation. It's important though, so I'm not going to talk a lot. Security at this place is terrible. Who, who, who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. 
Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, Ow. of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked, you, you talk. pussy. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Give me them keys. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why the hell would they Why do that? Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. 
It's called a pad cut. The president? It works together with your body's own electrical field. The chief only has a level Personal one area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? The hell? Why? What happened? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Well, I'm gonna bring this episode to a close now, so tune in for the next one, and we'll see what happens now.